What's up you guys, Redneck here with another video. Today I went to the store this morning, got a can of Copenhagen snuff. I thought I'd do a dip review on it. So let's pack us a lip. I do have a topic today while I do a dip review. Now the thing about snuff is the inside of the can, it's, it's a fiber, fiber board. And there's wax on the inside. I can't really show you. But if you don't know how to dip fine cut all that well, you get a pinch, depending on how big you want. Scrape it against the can, and that wax gets on the dip. It's not harmful. It's just there to make sure that you get a pinch, you know. So, I'm going to go in for about this size, since it's snuff. So, I got underneath my tongue. Yeah. <coughs> Think about snuff, it don't really stay packed, because it's such a fine cut. But the taste is wonderful. Um, I usually dip snuff every now and then. Now, hold on, I gotta go back for a fill, y'all. I dip snuff every now and then just to get a buzz. Because I change my every day every now and then. Sometimes it's wintergreen, sometimes it's Copenhagen mint. Gotta fix this damn thing. Let's go in for a filler and hop into this video. I do like the smell of it. It's like a good strong smell. It's easy on the nose. It smells real good. Let's go in for this little filler. Mm. <coughs> okay, so while we let this sit in, I'm going to talk about how to hide dip, especially for you underage dippers. Um, you're worried about your parents finding out and you don't really know how to hide it all that well. So while well, this sits in so I can do a good dip review, that's what we're going to talk about today. And... Um, if you don't really, if you need a dip and don't really know how to hide it all that well, stick it in your boots. Oh, I mean, I've never really had this problem, but stick it in your boot. Stick it in a jacket, um, in one of your jacket pockets. Hide it underneath your clothes. Go outside, dig a hole or something. No, don't do that. That's stupid. Um, and some people, they don't know how to hide it that well in their mouth when they, they're using smokeless tobacco. Best thing you can do, um, especially if you're not around your parents, work on building your pockets. And what a pocket is, is where you put your tobacco just so it like feels comfortable and stuff. I mean, if you need a dip and you should already know it's going to burn a little. <clears throat> and that's completely natural. <laughs> that's what I'm dipping on. Copenhagen snuff. It's basically natural, just a fine cut. But, work on building your pockets. I have pockets here. I have my pockets built from all the way over here, all the way up here. I even got pockets on my upper deck. And 
And some people, they go to pouches just because it's easier to hide. And that's okay. I mean, you dip whatever you want to dip. It's America. So work on your pockets. Don't get as big as a pinch. Especially, like, if you're home alone and you know it's a good while before your parents come home off of work, whatever the fuck they're going to. Um, dip then, um, I don't know how it is for most of y'all out there, but I'm pretty sure some of y'all have brothers and sisters. Um, shut your door and lock it if you can. Ugh. Um. I feel stupid. I forgot what I was going to say. Disappointed in myself, man. Just kidding. Um, shit. Maybe I actually did. I'm fucking retarded, y'all. So, how to hide dip if you're dipping it. Build your pockets. Um, best time to do it is either at school, like lunch or something. Maybe if you're, you know. Go outside. Go for a walk. Make sure it's a long walk. Give you, like, give it some time to build your pockets in, y'all. Um, how to hide the can itself. Put it in a jacket. Put it in a boot. A shoe, whatever the fuck you wear. Hide it underneath some clothes in your dresser. Closet. Um, I wouldn't really hide it underneath your mattress. Because if I had a feeling my kid was dipping, I'd look underneath the mattress first. Just because I hid my dip there a lot. Every time when I was underage. It'd always get found, and I'd get pissed off because I'd have to go buy more. Okay, with that said, that's how you hide your dip. This Copenhagen snuff's been sitting in for a good three to four minutes. It's a real fine cut. I'm going to try to show you all without spilling it all over the fucking place. It's a real fine cut. Um, smells good. I like the can style. Oh shit, didn't mean to throw it at y'all. I like the can style. But just to give you a better look at how fine the cut is, look at that. It's a good dip. Most people don't dip it because it's such a fine cut and they don't know how to pinch it right. But I'll do a video on how to properly pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. It's a good dip. I like the flavor. You can definitely tell there's a lot of nicotine in it. And that's basically why I dip it sometimes is just to get that butt, that little buzz every now and then. I'm not buzzing per se, but I can feel that it's working. And yeah, um, uh, rating from one to ten, I'll give it a solid nine. I do like the dip. I'm a big Copenhagen fan, if you couldn't tell. Um, I might do some grizzly snuff. Compare it and do some comparisons. Um, yeah. Redneck signing off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below on what you want to see next. And remember, if I get to 50 subs by, say, the next two weeks, I will start doing merch. And like I said in the last video, my merch would consist of either a shirt or a dip can lid that says, I don't want to die. Shout out for James for giving me that idea. Um, 
It might be army camo, like the old ACUs, the digis. Or shit, I might even do the new camo. Who knows? Comment down below if you're interested in that, y'all. And um, thank you guys for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, y'all.